the beginning of June proved to be extremely successful for the security service of Ukraine. Less than two days after Operation Spider's Web, whose boldness and extraordinary nature shook the world, Ukrainian special forces attacked the Crimean Bridge. This is the third attack on the Russian-built structure, this time carried out underwater. Espresso Media Outlet recalls recently the explosion of the Crimean Bridge, around which Russia had built a true cargo cult, took place on June the 3rd. According to the Security Service of Ukraine, the operation had been months in the making. Agents planted explosives on the bridge supports and later activated them without any civilian casualties. Ukrainian special forces say the underwater supports were heavily damaged at the seabed level using 1,100 kilograms of explosives in TNT equivalent. The SBU reported that the bridge is now effectively in critical condition. It's extremely important to understand that the explosion was carried out at the seabed at a depth of about 10 meters. That's why there was no fire show like in previous cases. The real condition of the support structure can only be assessed during diving operations. Moreover, this also means that any repair work will be correspondingly difficult. Defense Express described the special operation. The authors of the article raised questions about the method used to strike the bridge, pointing out the logistical and technical challenges involved. Placing over one ton of explosives, just the explosive material itself, without casing, would have been nearly impossible for divers to achieve, Defense Express experts noted. One of the few realistic scenarios involves the use of underwater drones. This theory gains weight, especially considering the recent lack of public information about such systems, despite their clear potential. Among the most likely candidates named in the article is the Marichka underwater drone. This view is shared, for example, by Valery Ryabik, Director of Development at the information and consulting company Defense Express. Since there are more powerful explosives available, the actual weight might have been closer to 500 kilograms. Some experts now speculate that an underwater guided drone, like the previously shown Marichka, could have been used, the military expert noted on Espresso TV. Marichka is a multi-purpose strike underwater unmanned vehicle of Ukrainian production. The drone is designed to engage a wide range of targets, boats, ships, bridge supports and coastal fortifications. It can also be used for reconnaissance or cargo transport. The manufacturers highlight Marichka's low noise level and stealth. Additionally, the drone carries powerful ammunition and can resist enemy electronic warfare systems. The drone can travel over 1,000 kilometers, a distance unreachable for many missiles and torpedoes. Developers call this the most important advantage. A year ago, they emphasized Marichka's ability to destroy underwater objects, including bridge supports. Russia ignored this information back then. The U.S. Air Force has deployed dozens of aerial refueling aircraft to forward positions. According to Military Watch magazine, this move has increased the likelihood of the U.S. entering the ongoing military confrontation between Israel and Iran. Sources say that the deployment of these aircraft to forward positions indicates both the possibility of the U.S participating in potential offensive operations and increasing logistical capabilities to support its allies, especially Israel. Recall, Israel has asked the U.S. over the past 48 hours to join the war with Iran, but the U.S. is not currently considering such a move, reported Axios and the Times of Israel, citing Israeli and American officials. Iran has warned the U.S., U.K. and France that their military bases and ships will be targeted. 
if they help block the Iranian missile and drone retaliation for Israel's attack. Recall, Israel lacks the bunker buster bombs and large bomber aircraft needed to destroy Iran's Fordo uranium enrichment site, which is built into a mountain and deep underground. The US has both within flying distance of Iran, but the Trump administration has so far distanced itself from Israel's operation and argued that it would be illegitimate for Iran to retaliate by striking US targets. Directly attacking Iran, even if the US involvement is limited to bombing a single site, would pull the US directly into the war. However, if Fordo remains operational after the operation ends, Israel will have failed in its goal to eliminate Iran's nuclear program. An Israeli official claimed to Axios that the US might join the operation and that President Trump even suggested he do so if necessary in a recent conversation with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. A White House official denied that. A second U.S. official confirmed that Israel has urged the Trump administration to join the war, but said currently the administration is not considering it. Now, the situation changes. U.S. Air Force have deployed dozens of aerial refueling aircraft to forward positions. It should be noted that the advance of refueling aircraft to the region is vital to ensuring long-range flights and continuous operations of U.S. warplanes. This step indicates that tensions in the region are entering a new phase and is being seen as a signal that the U.S. is openly hardening its position.